Hi YouTube, I wanted to make a video about the upcoming competition this weekend, Severna Park Open 2020. For those of you who have not received the email or don't check your email but check YouTube, I wanted to let you know that this competition is cancelled. We are no longer going to be holding this competition. Do not come, don't pass go, don't collect $200. Um, the reason why we're deciding to cancel this, and while I am not the organizer, nor am I the delegate for this competition, I did consult with the official delegate, Corey, about this, is for people's safety. Right now at this, in the state of Maryland, as I'm making this video at 5.54 p.m. on March 12, 2020, there are 12 confirmed cases in the state of Maryland, and there was an additional case in Anne Arundel County, the county where the competition is going to be happening. In addition, there is evidence and confirmed cases of people who have received the disease through transmission of people, uh, just general transmission without having direct interaction with people who have actually contracted the disease and tested positive. So we want to make sure people are safe. At Cuban competitions, you get lots of people in the same space, which in and of itself is a breeding grounds for viruses like this. But in addition at competitions, you get a lot of interaction with other people. You're touching other people's cubes. Judges and scramblers are going to be touching things that other people have touched and they will be interacting with potentially hundreds of people uh, or at least hundreds of puzzles belonging to hundreds of people. While the rate of, uh, well, the mortality rate is relatively low for people of my age and younger, uh, many of these kids have parents that come to these events and we cannot be completely aware of the immune and health status of all the individuals that are coming to these competitions. So because of all of these factors, we wanted to play it safe. Uh, we didn't want to uh, make anyone sick because of this competition. If it's, if it's just a common cold, like that happens, but this is a disease that we don't know too much about. There's no effective treatment. And while yes, a lot of people do recover very well, there is a non-trivial portion of the population where there is no cure and there is no effective treatment. And these types of people will, you know, die. We're not talking about getting sick for a couple of weeks. We're talking about people dying from this disease. And some people think it may be a little overblown. And I'm, I've got a YouTube channel with 7,500 uh, subscribers and only 120 people registered for this competition at most. And now it's, it was down to about 80 before uh, we just decided to cancel. Um, I, I, I thought it was important to get this out there. Uh, for those of you who are attending the competition, uh, as you will have received in the email, you will be getting a full refund. And we will try to plan another one of these in the future. I'm personally not very happy about it. I love competitions. I love competing as much as the next person. I love seeing all my friends. Um, and it, it is really tough uh, news-wise to, to break this to people, to tell people about this, and to take it myself. Um, so I hope everyone stays safe. Please practice good hand washing habits and such. We haven't made decisions about competitions coming up, such as DMV Speed Solves or Silver Spring Spring, uh, or unplanned, unannounced, or planned, unannounced competitions that are happening in May. But we will take this essentially one day at a time. As the situation gets better or worse, we will make calls, hopefully a little bit sooner than this one. Um, but there's a lot of uncertainty right now and we don't want to rush into anything too quickly if things seem to recover very quickly like we'll hold these competitions but we're, we want to we want to make sure people are safe um, we care a lot about the community so with that said um, i hope everyone stays safe i hope everyone is doing really well and there's Anything that any of you are concerned about that you think I could help you with in any way possible, uh, my Instagram DMs are a great place for any concerns. Um, email kellis at worldcubeassociation.org if you have any questions or concerns about competition safety. Otherwise, 
I'll see you guys soon. Um, and happy cubing, everybody.